rapper, my rapper. My rapper, put me on the stage, coach. Put me in, coach. I got you, Ryan. Revelers are here to see the ball drop. As always, the best seat in the house is right there on your couch. And looking out for the people here are the first responders who keep us safe every single day. Thank you to all of you here tonight. Big thanks, members of our armed services as well. Well, we begin this morning with a violent attack just before the start of the new year. Several NYPD officers apparently targeted by a man wielding a machete. Well, right now it appears to be 52 degrees. In New York. And here it's about the same. All right, well, thank you for that. Web there is where the ball is, all right? Now, to give it some perspective, that ball, like, I'm 5'10-ish, right? Yeah. Cody, you're about the same size as Ish, me. ish. Okay? <laughs> We're loose with the ish. But 5'10", 5'10", if yeah. I was standing on top of your head, or uh, you're standing on top of my head, okay. we would still be about that much shorter than the ball. It's 12 feet. <laughs> is that 12 feet interesting you say 12, because the ball is also about 12,000 pounds. That's a big boy. that, that's about eight cows. Or three average cars, yes? Or about how much food I feel like I've eaten over the holidays. Anybody else? 12,000 yeah, right. rounds? Hey, let me tell you something. The thing that is Fascinating. Is that is my 12 feet in diameter, 472 feet above the street. 12,000 pounds, in case you weren't aware. But those people do not care. Check! It's 2023. Wouldn't you know it? And uh, well, might take a look up here and see. Doesn't look like we have a whole lot to install this year. You may think that I've run out of things to install, or perhaps devices upon which I can install things. No, no, I can't install anything on that device right there. But today, we're going to have a very special. New Year's uh, Windows installation celebration, the very first installation is going to be on a desktop PC. So why don't we go and see what I'm talking about? Go! Well, it's a few hours later. Um, I didn't really feel like staying up last night. I've been a bit under the weather lately but we're here now and this is the system we're going to be installing an operating system on today and i'm getting a low battery indicator so hang on a second i made the usb drive with rufus using the um workarounds that they have uh, developed to um make windows 11 not check for tpm 
um, compatibility and whatever else it requires, the RAM requirement. This computer meets the RAM requirement, but anyway, I just kind of checked all the boxes there and it created a local account, removed the requirement for internet access um, when you're setting it up. Cause normally Windows 11 requires you to be connected to the internet when you um, are setting up the computer first installing Windows. So we're obviously not going to and do that out here um yeah no no ethernet back there um but yeah we're gonna be installing this lexar nq100 not you know the fanciest ssd in the world but pretty good and um yeah we're gonna be using it with this mouse if this mouse doesn't work um i have a backup but yeah it's a ps2 mouse um, and yeah, that's kind of, you know, the type of thing you have to use with a computer setup like this. So why don't we go ahead and get started. All right, let's dig into this thing. Well, Dell Optiplex 7010. Um, this thing is all original. I did a video on this if you're interested. A while back when I got it, it's $25 from Goodwill. Yes, there we go. All right, $25 from Goodwill. And, um, yeah, it's got the original hard drive there, but we don't want that. You flip it over, guess what? You can install a uh, two and a half inch drive. Two hours later, there we have it. SSD is in there. It's kind of, kind of secured, uh, but anyway, there you go. This will be kind of like an incognito uh, sleeper uh, office computer because when you open it up, guess what? The hard drive will still be up here when you open it up you'll see that hard drive there and you'll say wow how is this thing so fast oh guess what there's a hidden ssd well would you look at that it says if nothing ever changed all right let's go ahead and get this sucker here this thing does have super speed uh, usb and you would be able to see that right now if this thing oh there it goes but focus does have two super speed USB drives on the front of the device there. So um, let's go ahead and get it powered up. Oh, there you have it. Will this ancient PS2 mouse, uh, Mark Martin's Valvoline Ford here, will it work with Windows 11? Yep, works perfectly fine. But anyway, yeah, here we go. Uh, the, the um sensitivity is pretty low as well. Let's go ahead and install Windows 11. Let's see, um, activate Windows. Don't want to do that. Don't have a product key. That's good. It's the first time I've done this, by the way, um, with the um, with the Rufus uh, Bypass, as they call it. Windows 11 Home. This is the screen right here where it will say your system is not compatible, but you can see right there it goes on to the uh, notices and terms. Yep. If you've ever heard of the term focus hunting, I believe that's an issue that this camera suffers from. Let's connect me to a network. Okay, so it's supposed to remove this. I like how. You can't mute that, by the way. Um, yeah, I like how they just assume that you have another device. Um, yeah, and they assume that you have a internet connection as well, of course. Um, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Alright, so I'd connected it to this uh, hotspot 
internet uh, spot here um, but it still won't let me go alright so I finally got it to work with a hotspot from a cell phone um, yeah I'm not not exactly what I was hoping for I was hoping that bypass with Rufus would work that allowed you to set up Windows 11 without the internet but naturally that doesn't happen all right, so I went ahead and let it finish setting up. I went ahead and just, uh, you know, let it get connected and all that through setup here. It just popped up with the desktop, and wouldn't you know it, um, <laughs> for some reason it disconnected itself from the Internet. Um, I still have the connection. Um, oh, okay. Okay, there it is. So yeah, I still, still have the connection. I didn't remove it, but for some reason just disconnected by default. Get that volume turned down there. Uh, okay, so yeah, I mean, it is set up here. Um, let's take a look real quick at Task Manager, see how much RAM we're using. Um, looks like we're using 1.7 gigabytes of RAM. It's not bad. So, you know, um, what can I say, really? We have it installed here. Um, the PS2 mouse worked by default. I was really surprised by that. The um, file copying, initial, you know, copying the files to the SSD was fast. But the setup process is severely complicated when you're in uh, an in environment that has limited connectivity to the Internet. So, yeah, if you want to do it offline, it looks like even if you try to do some bypasses or something with Rufus, it's going to cause you some trouble. But um, yeah, we have it here. And I just kind of want to see how Windows 11 runs on unsupported hardware, as you can see there. Very clearly, unsupported hardware. Alright, so this has been sitting here for a solid couple hours now. It is now... Um, can we get that to focus? 2.38 p.m. Um, and yeah, still just downloading this update. It's almost finished. Um, yes, yeah, 95% now. It's been sitting here downloading that update for quite some time. There are several other updates that downloaded pretty quickly, but this one here is just, it looks like it's stuck, but it's not. It goes up a percent every several minutes. So, we'll see what happens once this finishes downloading I'll go ahead and restart it and uh, while I was sitting around waiting for this I decided to go ahead and get this graphics card out the GeForce 210 um, that one there with that handsome uh, Android there on the on the box I decided to go ahead and put those uh, small form factor brackets on there and uh, once this thing finishes downloading this update I'm gonna shut it down and install this thing just because why not now all right so after getting the graphics card installed and restarting the computer to install updates I think we're finally ready to start it up and experience the Windows 11 experience on an old unsupported computer well, let's go all right so it is now 427 in the p.m here um, in my time zone and I'll just give you a little bit of a an update a summary an update oh boy word is not very kind to me lately um I'll give you a little summary of what's happened um so there's that huge update that it da downloaded it took like two hours to download finally finished that that's what we're restarting for right now um I installed a couple programs I tried to install the drivers for that GeForce 210 graphics card from the CD, but that didn't work. Um, I guess it's too old for Windows 11. Doesn't isn't compatible. Um, I tried to go to the GeForce website to download them manually. The website never loaded uh, because it was trying to download that update, and I, I guess that's why. I don't know. I mean, it just the website would never load. So we're gonna try that again. Um, but yeah, basically, this is just gonna be a installing Windows 11 not so much using it because I haven't been able to use it yet um, I installed it this morning and it's now almost five o'clock and 
it'll probably be five o'clock by the time this gets back to the desktop so yeah it's like you know it takes a whole day just to set up the computer not very very nice I also did a bit of debloating with the uh, debloating uh, tool from github you can google that and windows 11 uh, debloater uh, and whatever it's called and uh, yeah it, it helps a lot with windows 10 but when windows 11 <laughs> I don't know Heard a little startup jingle just then okay so this is a little bit different I guess it did install some kind of update I'm gonna wait on and connecting it to the network oh and it's installed graphics drivers hey okay cool let me whoop, okay let me see if it really did or not we got our full resolution yep there you go connected to GeForce 210 we got our GeForce 210 installed very nice you got 60 Hertz oh we can up it to 75 Hertz and do a little bit of gaming on that yeah look at that all right got a gaming setup now yes I've got it connected to the internet and just kinda take it for a spin briefly oh boy this is some way to break in the new year <clears throat> being sick <clears throat> but you can tell we have old GeForce drivers installed <clears throat> got the vision photo viewer <clears throat> I don't think I can do much more of this today yes sir Bob we're back at it El Rushbo your guiding light through times of trouble confusion murkiness tumult chaos the blues but you know one more needs to be said really um we got Disney Plus that's great and all this other crap but if functions um, what happened to Firefox okay there's Firefox still works I assume it will yeah that's fine but yeah basically the moral of this video is that Windows 11 is a pain in the butt to set up even more so if you look at my installing Windows 11 in 2022 video that I made a while back you'll see how much of a pain it is to do without all of these um, things that Rufus does to it. Um, this That did remove some of the stuff that you have to go through uh, during the setup process like um, you know privacy settings and stuff like that so yeah I don't think we have a connection to the internet here but yeah Windows 11 is a pain in the butt but once you get it set up I guess it's okay I mean I would still recommend Windows 10 for a system like this though so from a very sick CRT Productions I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a happier New Year, at least so far for me. <clears throat>